Hi, I'm Joe from Verstal Pina Bowler Welding. Today we're here at the ATC in Ham, Germany, where we're going to talk about the Euronos 2000 SMC. Let's get started. So this generator ready machine weighs in at just 12.8 kilograms and requires 5.7 kVA to run max output 200 amps from a mobile power supply. This makes it ideal for industries including general repair and maintenance, car body repair and general fabrication work. Okay, so for the purposes of the video today, we're going to concentrate on the MIG-MAG process. We're going to walk you through how the machine is set up using the 3.5 inch LCD display. We'll show you some of the, the bells and whistles inside the machine and we'll see how it runs. Let's take a look. In the MIG-MAG mode, the machine has full synergic control over the parameters. If we take a look at the library of curves, we can see that there are options here for mild steel, stainless steel, aluminium, we have a brazing curve, and we also have some curves for both flux cord and metal cord wires. For today's video, we'll concentrate on mild steel with an 18% CO2 argon mix, and the wire diameter is 0.8 millimeters. From here, we simply accept the selection and we're into the menu setup. So as you can see on the screen, there are a few functions that we can adjust when we're setting up to weld. The first is the trigger mode. So we have two step, four step. We also have an option for the hot start and the creator fill. From here, we can change the arc length correction. This allows us to add or take away voltage from the synergic curve. This may be to decrease spatter that we might be seeing in the weld. It can also allow us to lengthen the arc if we need a longer stick out on the electrode. Lastly, we can also change the inductance or the dynamic of the, of the welding arc. The effect of this is to either choke the arc or to widen it out according to the application. Maybe we have a, a large gap to fill, maybe uh, we're again seeing excess spatter and we want to soften the arc to decrease this. The inductance setting is a perfect way to do this. The first weld we're going to make is a T-fillet weld on some three millimeter carbon steel. As you can see on the display, when we do set the power, there's a handy indication of the material thickness where it puts us. So I'm gonna set it up to around about 150 amps. This indicates around about three and a half mil, which for a fillet weld is about right. Let's take a look, see how that runs. Now we've seen the T fillet weld, we're going to weld a lap joint. Still on three millimeter plate, but there are a couple of adjustments that I want to make. But because of the profile of the weld, I do want a little bit more arc spread. So what we're going to do, we're going to increase the arc voltage. Just a couple of notches. And then also I'm going to increase the inductance. The effect that this will have, it will soften the arc, it will give it more spread. It should give us nice fusion on both plates. Let's take a look. Okay, so for the final weld, we're going to test the machine's gap bridging capabilities. So we're back onto the three millimeter plate. As you can see, I've tacked up this configuration with an increasing gap over the course of the plate. So to set up for this, I'm going to decrease the amperage, take it to around about 90 amps. I'm also going to decrease the inductance to focus the arc. And let's see how that runs.
Okay, so now we've seen the Euronos 2000 SMC operating in a number of different applications. I hope I have been able to give you a number of insights into the machine and its capabilities. For those who are after a machine that's mobile, versatile and intuitive, it makes a fantastic choice. For more information on our range of welding equipment, please don't hesitate to get in touch and we'll see you next time. Ciao for now.